Hi, this is Gary Shoot from Traff Data, and uh, with this YouTube video, uh, I'm going to show a demonstration of uh, the latest uh, version of TurnCount. Uh, TurnCount is an app for uh, the Apple iOS operating system. And it works on the iPad, iPhone, and the iPod Touch, and it's a uh, it's a turning map movement counter for uh, count traffic at intersections. This is the second version that I have. I'm going to focus on the features that have been added for version 2, but I will do a quick overview of version 1 for people not familiar with it. Okay, uh, this is the main menu. Um, you have intersection information that you can enter here. Let me enter a street really quick. I'll enter uh, Penny Lane. I'll enter uh, another street here for the side street so we can see them on the count screen. Uh, I'm going to bypass the other information. Uh, here you'll see uh, if there's GPS on the hardware that you're using, uh, it will be uh, added to this field if you allow it and give it permission. Uh, you also have the date and the day. Uh, business information. Uh, this information is here only for uh, the header that, that goes on the output, uh, the PDF and the HTML file. Uh, intersection geometry, uh, you have three-way intersections, uh, you can choose all the different four orientations, standard four-way, I'm going to stay with the four-way here, uh, setting screen, this is where there's been a, a lot of changes to uh, the turn count app. Uh, there's two interfaces in which to count traffic and I'll briefly touch on each, you have the classic interface which is based on uh, virtual buttons. And you have the hyper interface, which is what I recommend and, and prefer. Uh, it's based on uh, finger gestures on the screen to, to count the traffic. Uh, both these were included in the previous version that was designed only for uh, the iPhone interface. Uh, I've added five minute bins uh, per request of users, and there's also 15 minutes still. Uh, for vehicle classifications, uh, you have truck still, uh, but the option now is you can turn it on or turn it off, and then you have bicycles also, uh, and you can turn those on and off also, so it's your choice uh, if you want to go about counting them or not. Uh, the count screen, uh, you'll see some changes in this also. Uh, this is a dedicated interface for the iPad. Uh, before, it was a case where if you were going to use the iPad, uh, you would just double the size of the screen that was for the, for the iPhone. Uh, there's an options menu up here, uh, begin, you can go back to the main menu, and you also have a help menu in the upper right hand corner, which is just uh, directions on uh, the different features of the app. Uh, you can also access this uh, help menu from the, from the main menu uh, in the lower right hand corner. Uh, large start button in the middle, and let me just start counting. Uh, like I indicated before, this is a, this setting is based on a, the hyper interface, which is gestures. So you, you move the finger in the direction of, of the traffic you want to count. Uh, here I'm counting westbound through movements. You'll see a north arrow pointing up. If I want to do a westbound left, I, I can move it this way. And what's nice about this, you don't have to have your, your thumb directly on top of this white circle. Uh, there's tolerance here. So it's a case when you're counting traffic and you're just holding the iPad in your hands, and you're doing through movements, you can go really quickly and you don't have to look down at the screen. And uh, it's a large touch zone in which you can do it. And uh, that's important uh, if you're gonna be using capacitive touch displays to do manual traffic data collection. For a truck, uh, trucks are done by a double tap truck. and then a gesture in the direction truck. of the vehicle. Truck. So here's truck. trucks. Truck. I'm gonna do north and south bound, say, Truck. truck. Uh, the vehicle that's been added for this version uh, is bicycle, and a uh, bicycle is counted by doing a, a long hold, is uh, how it's called for in the code, and you move in the direction. Yeah, you can do it slow. Uh, the aspect is, is the finger has to be in contact with the screen for uh, the setting I put in here was 0 0.55 seconds. Uh, if people have recommendations on different timing, uh, please let me know. I tried 0 0.4, tried 0 0.6. Um, I went with 0.55. Uh, I may modify that based on further testing, but those are bicycles. Pedestrians are counted the same way as in version one. Uh, you put your finger on the pedestrian icon and slide your finger in the 
direction of which way the pedestrian's going. It only does perpendicular to the roadway. It does not do diagonal crossings. Okay, so uh, that's a quick overview. Uh, the layout of the screen, uh, I modeled it after uh, old uh, turning count forms that people used to do by hand with tallies. Uh, so up here, uh, there's a weather field, observer, start time, uh, date, day. Uh, you see a time elapsed going in the right hand corner. That center time, uh, this is 446, that, that's the actual time of the day it is. Uh, I've been up late today trying to get things ready uh, for uh, this app. Uh, and on the bottom here, you'll see, a, it's actually a web view of uh, Google Maps and it's showing a, a blue icon on uh, where I am right now approximately uh, taking this video. So let me do a few more counts here so I can show you the output more. Let me, let me do some eastbound. Let me do some north-south here so you have an idea. Do some trucks. Uh, there, I was trying to do a bicycle and I left it a little too early. Okay, so I'm done with this count. I'm going to go to the output. So the counting is complete. I'm going to go to the data output. Now in the iPad interface, you actually get a preview of the data uh, before you send it if you want. So here, uh, it's a PDF file, file that's being shown in the bottom half of the screen. And uh, the first one's just doing a, a summary of the, of the count, uh, when it started, and then it goes on uh, the even intervals uh, for the five minutes or the 15 minutes. Uh, so this was a 15 minute count, so it, it starts showing the data for 445, then it would show it for 00, then 15, and then 30. Uh, so, Shows the breakout of the car traffic, truck traffic, bicycle traffic, and also the pedestrian volumes and the direction in which they went. Here uh, it says inter intersection count summary. Uh, if I counted for a minimum of an hour, it would uh, provide me with the peak hour here and with uh, corresponding peak hour factors for each movement, uh, peak hour factors for the approach, and also for the total intersection. Here's a vehicle summary for that peak hour, or, or in this case, since it was less than an hour uh, for the count session. Here, uh, this is new uh, intersection graphic here uh, showing uh, the movements that were counted. This is again for uh, the whole period since it was such a short count, but if it was longer, it would show it for the peak hour. Uh, when I'm done with this, uh, I can send it an email. Uh, let me send it to uh, my address here. I'll take it from the address book and then I'll send it. Now, with the first version, uh, there was an issue with uh, long counts that would get disrupted. Um, so if you had over like 5,000 events, it was a case where uh, it wasn't going to work properly from that standpoint. But in this version, uh, I approached it a few different ways. Uh, right now I'm sending the count to that address and then it's going to come back. You can send it by email and that bug's been fixed, but if something goes wrong with the email transfer, you're also able to transfer the files to the sync cable when you sync it with iTunes. Okay, uh, this is an email I just sent to myself here. Uh, uh, depending on what app, other apps you might have in here, I, I have Real Docs here, uh, which is just a document viewer. Uh, Good Reader is another document viewer that I would highly recommend. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the zipped file that I just sent over. So here corresponds to the zipped file. It's extracting it. And I'm just going to show an overview of the data files that are comp compiled. There's four data files compiled with the regular turn count version. You have a, a CSV file, which shows timestamp data and uh, classification data for each event that has been recorded. You have HTML data, which corresponds to the PDF file. You have the PDF file that was shown previously. And you also have a UTDF file uh, I'm not going to be able to open the UTDF file uh, because of the VOL extension. It's not going to recognize it, this document reader app. But right here, I'm just showing a copy of a, this is the timestamp file, CSV. Uh, you can import it in Excel. Now, if you import it in Excel, it's a case where you're not able to just double click on it and extract it, but you have to go through the data import feature of Excel. This is just the HTML summary, just the tabular. And here I have a PDF, uh, which we showed earlier, the preview. So that's a quick overview uh, of the output now, which has been greatly improved since the first version. And uh, I hope you